What's up everybody? Welcome back to some worldwide shenanigans. Today, we're going to take you on an adventure to Cambodia. Stay tuned. Before we get started, we want to mention that we can only speak from our experiences. We are by no means experts in Cambodian culture or, Cam or Cambodian history. But we just want to share our experiences and hope it helps anyone who's interested or wants to travel to see them. With that disclaimer, here are our top five best tips for visiting Siem Reap, Cambodia. Our first tip is on food and drink. We're going to kick off this video with one of the craziest tips we'll probably ever give on this channel, a chance to eat bugs. I have to tell you guys, I was not excited about eating bugs. But before we went to Cambodia, Ben did a lot of research and this leads us to the Bug Cafe where we sampled six bug dishes. We tried a cricket salad, a raw scorpion, a giant water beetle, a silkworm kebab, a deep fried tarantula donut, and an ant spring roll. I have to tell you guys, eating the scorpion I cannot recommend. It was hard, chewy, and tasteless. But the deep fried tarantula donut, uh, not that bad if I didn't get bit on the tongue by one of his fangs. Guys, I thought Ben was being dramatic when he said he had just been bit. But there was blood coming out of his mouth. It hurt. <laughs> if you are not into insect cuisine, you are still in luck in Cambodia. Food and drink is actually very inexpensive, with a full meal maybe costing you two or three US dollars. Our second tip is how to get around. Getting around Siem Reap is easy and fun. The most common vehicle you'll be in is a tuk-tuk. This is a small cart propelled by the driver on a motorbike. Or sometimes propelled by us ourselves, uh, when our tuk-tuk ran out of gas, uh, we hopped out and we pushed the tuk-tuk to the nearest gas station. I loved it. It was fun. Within the city of Siem Reap, walking around the downtown area is easy if your accommodations are nearby. The main tour street is called Pub Street. A crowded street where burgers are a dollar, beers are 50 cents. It's not an authentic Cambodian area. It's definitely a tourist area, but it's super entertaining to walk down Pub Street and the surrounding streets. Here's a map of where we stayed and where Pub Street is. Our walk was five minutes and safe. We definitely recommend staying near this area so you can walk everywhere you need. Time for tip number three, the must-sees in Cambodia. As you guys can imagine, our absolute Number one must-see attraction in Siem Reap is the Angkor Wat and Angkor Thom temples. Get up early and see the sunrise at Angkor Wat. Even though you're waking up at 3 a.m., leaving at 4 a.m., and getting in your position by 5 a.m., you will not regret this. You'll see thousands of people watch the sunrise at Angkor Wat every day, but you can find amazing viewing areas that aren't as packed. We were in the front row. And how we did this leads us to tip number two. Use a tour guide. Yes. Our tour guide gave us so much unique information and local perspectives we couldn't have known otherwise. He even taught us new camera tricks on our iPhones. The tour guide will also handle all the extra details such as going with you to buy your entrance pass, and they'll bring water and snacks for you, and even pick you up and drop you off at your hotel. Shannon and I loved our tour guide so much, we want to recommend his company and his name to you guys. Find the full information in the description box below. To visit more temples than just Angkor Wat. While it's beautiful and huge, there are so many more temples and we recommend seeing as many as you can. They each have their own history to learn and even current facts. For example, a 20 minute drive away from Angkor Wat is Ta Prom, otherwise known as the Jungle Temple. 
where they filmed some Lara Croft Tomb Raider movies. Great movie. Yeah, great movie. And that temple has a completely different jungle feel than Angkor Wat. Moving on to tip number four is about currency and safety. As we mentioned earlier, Cambodian food and beverages are super affordable, so you don't need to carry much cash on you. And in the downtown Pub Street area, they do accept credit cards at most places. And one thing to note is you can pay in US dollars, but you'll receive change in Cambodian real. For safety, one of the biggest issues is pickpocketing. Shannon and I didn't experience any issues when we visited, but to be on the safe side, you can always wear your bag on your front and be very mindful of your surroundings. Exactly. Last but not least, tip number five is about airfare and how to get to see Emory. Before going on any trip, I do a lot of research. <laughs> and I have to say, the Siem Reap International Airport is one of the most expensive airports I've seen. To find the best airfare deals, fly from another nearby city, such as Ho Chi Minh City, Phnom Penh, Bangkok, or Kuala Lumpur. And that could save you hundreds, if not thousands, compared to flying into Siem Reap internationally from the U.S. And with those tips, we hope you have fun on your worldwide shenanigans. <laughs>